got a DIY project I want to share with you today. My wife's a teacher and she had use for a document camera, but unfortunately she doesn't have a document camera in her classroom. What she does have, however, is an iPad and a big screen TV and an Apple TV. So she wanted to know if there was some way we could rig up the iPad to work as a document camera. And I thought, that's a pretty good idea. Maybe we can check and see if anyone's already done that. And we did in fact find someone who's made a low-cost DIY document stand or document camera stand for an iPad. And I made one and that's what we have here. Uh, you can see this is uh, all PVC. It costs less than $20. It's got a nice uh, solid wide base. Uh, it stands the camera up about Eh, about 13, 14 inches above the documents below. And then here you place, and if you can see straight down at this channels along here, you place the iPad in it, which we just happen to have one here, uh, directly into the channel like this. And then the iPad is suspended directly over the, the document. Now, I thought it was a really clever design, and of course we built it, and it does work, but it's not perfect. And the main problem is that this is built specifically for an iPad, but it doesn't take into account one little idiosyncrasy that the iPad has. As you can see, this is right down the middle, as is the iPad, but the iPad's camera is not right here. The iPad's camera is over here, and so that means that your picture is off-center. Now let me just show you what that looks like and you'll see why this is a problem. With the camera offset like it is, you can see that you can actually see the right leg in the field of vision. And ideally, we'd want to be looking at empty table. So with that in mind, I went about redesigning this, thinking about how can I get the iPad's camera from here directly into the center. Now the easiest thing would be, of course, just to sort of move this crossbeam over, but that's really going to take it all the way over to here, and there's very little room, and you'll be quite off-centered. So I thought there might be a better way. Now let's cut up the pieces for the new version, and I'll explain what I'm doing along the way. We'll start by cutting up the pieces. Um, this is all made out of three-quarter inch PVC, the kind you'd get at the hardware store, just water grade PVC. And you can easily do this with a six-foot piece if you cut it uh, without much waste. You'll need three 12-inch pieces, two seven and one-quarter inch pieces, one six and one-quarter inch piece, one six-inch piece, and one four and three-quarter inch piece. While not entirely necessary for many of the pieces, I like to sand them off anyway just to get a nice smooth finish on them. I'm going to test fit the pieces here. Um, you're also going to need some additional parts. You're going to need five 90 degree elbows, two end caps, one T fitting, and one 90 degree side outlet elbow. That's a three corner piece. These are also, of course, still three quarter inch PVC connectors. Now that I've test fit the pieces together and I know it works, it's time to start gluing. The first pieces I'm going to glue are the legs that go around the base where you place the document, and I'm also going to glue the T-fitting to the upright piece. These pieces really can't go together wrong, so it's a good place to start and let them dry while we move on to the more complicated pieces. Now comes the part where it pays to have the right tool for the right job. This is not the right tool. Uh, better to have a table saw with a dado blade, but the object is to cut channels along the pieces that will hold the iPad and cut them smooth and cut them straight. Since this is where your iPad is going to rest, these are the ones you really need to sand. Now I'm going to use the piece I just cut to mark 
one of the elbows. This is the outer elbow end that fits on the arms that hold the iPad. You need to cut all the way through the inner bend and also cut one section off the other side. Now comes the part where it all comes together. First off, we take those elbows that we cut and the uh, straight pieces that we cut and we make sure we glue them together perfectly straight. And if they don't quite match in size, you might want to go back and sand them off a little bit so that they fit. We'll take that and make the upper stand, which again, we can make perfectly flat because the 90 degree pieces and the uh, three, -quarter, three corner piece won't go out of the way as long as you set them down. I've uh, put something in here just to make sure it's straight. Now I'm going to glue this upper stand onto that straight upright piece. Now this one's one you've got to fight with a little bit to make sure that you get it perfectly straight. And uh, do what you need to do to do that. After you're done there, I've taken the lower stand and I'm not gluing it here. What I'm doing is I'm just putting the right or the left piece, I suppose that is, on and I'm making sure that I can get it level. Now once it's level, I'm going to glue the other side piece in. Once that piece is glued in, try to flatten it down and make sure that it's still level. That's the key here, is just keeping this thing level. Once it is level, I'm going to let it dry. After it's dry though, I'm going to tip it up and I'm going to pull that leg that I just placed in before and glue it in place. Hopefully, Guess what? Keeping it level. Finally, I'm going to make one more change. The original plans didn't call for the tops of the uh, brackets to be cut off, but I've added that step because if you're using the iPad to actually manipulate the screen, these cover part of the screen and can impair using some of the apps. And so here is the finished product. As you can see, the base is still the same, but by using the three corner pipe, we've been able to offset this to the left, well, to my left anyway. And if you look at the base piece here, that, if you think about it, because the camera is still on this side, that means that the camera is now slightly over here. And so we've moved we've made this piece a little bit larger and this piece a little bit smaller and we've moved the center off so it's still fairly well centered but now the iPad camera sits with the camera almost exactly center depending on how good your measuring is it could be exactly center of the document stand area uh, this gives it a little bit more pleasing result and it makes it easier to work the document around while you're making your presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little DIY project and much thanks to the folks that created the original document stand. I have of course included a link to their video uh, in the notes below so that you can see the original and see how they made it. They also have a different variation that uses a, a different kind of base but um, it's, a, it's a weighted base that takes up a lot less room but it would scare me to use in a classroom with small children with with my, had my iPad sitting on top of it. So um, it depends on your environment. That may be a better solution. And it also resolves this uh, issue with the stand at the bottom. So if you have any improvements on this plan, please share them. Thanks again for watching.